All right, so let's take a look at um, how we're going to do things in this class. We're going to go in here, go to CA Linux, and we're going to go to Salon. And this is going to be our primary grid generator here inside of CA Linux. Right now, I'm not going to use the Python console, but if I ever wanted to bring it back up, I can hit that and it'll come right back, but for right now, I'm not going to do that. So let's take a look at some possibilities and let's just go through and make some interesting grids and just play around for a minute. Right now we're just going to hit a square, move over the box construction, put the mouse over this value and roll the wheel if you have a wheel mouse you'll notice is I can roll it any particular way I want and hit close. Now I can come back in here and put a fillet. And now I've got the choice of putting it on all sides. Pick a side or pick a surface. So if I pick a surface, I can preview it, change things around. Or I can hit this, hit a particular side, change things around there, hit apply and close. I can turn off the other uh, solid so I don't see it. Hold the control key down, middle mouse button, while the control key is down will pan it. Left mouse zooms it, right mouse rotates it. If I don't like that and I want to view it with a shaded, I can do this. I can even go in pick a different color if it bothers me that it's yellow pick a different color. Now I can basically come in, put a cylinder, maybe it's too big, shrink it down, the height by the OK. I don't like where the cylinder sits, so I can move it. I'll move it in the X direction, I'll preview it. I don't I don't want to create a copy, so I'm going to move it out, move it back in to maybe middle ways, and then draw it up. If it's too far out, might want to draw it till it sets in there. Apply and close. Roll the wheel, mouse wheel. What you have now is you have two solids, a fillet and a cylinder. I want to put them together. I want to fuse them, in essence. I'm going to fuse the cylinder with the fillet. I'm going to preview it, although there's nothing to preview. I can look at it during the preview, but what you'll notice on the preview is that the circle exists there. If I didn't preview it, you wouldn't see that. But now you hit that, and I have a fuse here. Let's say I don't like the name of it. Hit the F2 key and call it Body 01 or something like that. At this particular point, I can roll it around. This is my body. I can view it in display mode wireframe, or I can view it display mode shading. If I don't like the fact that it's yellow again, I can change the color to say I want it to be blue. And so here's a body that's some object. Who knows what it is? You can go in now and go to the meshing uh, application inside of Salome. I can create a mesh in which the geometry is going to be based on body. And what I mean by that is if you look at this real close, this is the geometry that matches the body over here that now my mouse has run across. What I always use, and probably for right now is the best to use, is NetGen. I'll go ahead and do some parameters in here. Uh, like usually reasonably fine. You've got local sizes, which we will get to. And we'll say drop it to 25. We're going to apply and close it. Now right now there's no mesh but I can compute it 
and in the background what happens is the meshing application runs shortly it will finish up and when it does it'll come up and tell me some information on the mesh the nodes the edges faces the volumes and here is the mesh again the control key right mouse button zoom in on it control key right mouse will move things around so I can see the mesh I can actually do some other things with the mesh let's say I want to go in and do some clipping um, I'll put in a new plane I don't want to clip it there maybe I want to clip it along this plane and just hit apply oh I should have swapped it but I'll hit the right control rotate it around and what happened is is all the elements on one side of that plane were clipped so you can look inside the mesh and see if you particularly like what you're seeing here might be an okay mesh might not but this is the first look at moving from one to the other we're going to make heavy use of this meshing uh, to create a large number of meshes and do them in an interesting way so with that I'm gonna call it the end this is a six minute and we're gonna go ahead here I'll do the clipping if I don't like it I'll delete it and it comes back right control move things around okay so we'll call it good right here